I know you're thinking, organic chemistry is hard as but I'm here to make it a little bit easier with some real world applications for the chemistry we call organic. Organic chemistry is involved in everything around us, cooking, cleaning, and even the gas that runs your cars. But today, we're gonna keep it in the kitchen. Oh, what's up guys? It's funny seeing you here. Organic chemistry is involved in everything when we're cooking in the kitchen. It's involved in the gas that heats up your stove. It's involved in the oil that gives you that non-stick performance. And it's involved in the soap that helps you clean those dishes after you cook a great meal. Why can you never trust atoms? Because they make up everything. The more you know. A simple combustion reaction is what's responsible for heating your stove to make your food. That's right. Methane and oxygen react to produce carbon dioxide, water, and energy. The water and energy are what's going to be converted to electricity. That's what's going to make it piping hot. Pipe it up! Pipe it up! Pipe Shown here is a simple alkane, otherwise known as vegetable oils, such as canola. It is then hydrogenated to give you a hydrogenated alkane, otherwise known as various cooking fats, like margarine. Wow, what a nutritious looking meal. Now it's time to clean up. Soap is made up of molecules with hydrophobic and hydrophilic ends. One end of soap molecules love water, the other end of soap molecules hate water. The hydrophobic ends of soap molecules attach to the oil, separating it from the surface, leaving your pots and pans spotless. Two chemists walk into a bar. One says, I'll have an H2O. The other one says, I'll have an H2O too. Then he died. The more you know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bye mom. Thank you guys for watching our video. Organic chemistry is really hard. I'm Cameron Tate. And I'm Katrina Miller. And this has been The More, the more You, you know. know.